Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Lynn and I'm Pretty Paper Craft 67 and today I'm going to alter some window envelopes. I've got a bit of a bit of a collection happening. I've got some more over there. Um, and yeah, I just thought I would, uh, I want to make some little inserts for junk journals or ephemera bundles and um, yeah, I just wanted to make some little bags with um, some of these window envelopes. So this one here, I've just I've just uh, done some collage, and I've just um, stenciled some some texture paste over the top of this one, and um, they just house some journal cards really nicely. These are probably a little bit too tall, but not really. So um, yeah, I just want to make some little homes for these journal cards to sit in so let's just have a little play so i'm just going to grab three and put those to the side now i have cut these open um, when the mails come so i want to use these three because i want the window section and i've opened them from this end so that makes that a lot easier and I'm just, again, I'm going to do collage. So I've got um, some scraps of patterned paper. I've got some receipts, some vintage receipts that I'm going to play with. And I've also got a printable from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah and a bit of music paper. So let's sort of have a fiddle with these elements and see what we come up with. So first of all, what I want to do is I just want to cut down my envelopes. And I'm just going to cut them to about, oh, I don't know, maybe an inch or so above the window section. Just eyeballing. Now, I am going to keep these pieces because they make nice little pockets themselves. So that's always something that we can fiddle with another day. And I'm just, just to make them all the same size, I'm just going to kind of level them up. Cut down there, and I'm going to do the same with this one here. If they're a little bit out, I don't think that matters too much. All right, so that's our three envelopes. Okay, so now what I want to do, I'm going to use this one as my template, and I'm just going to cut away the corners of the tops of my envelopes to turn them into like little bags. So I'm just going to cut away there and cut away there. And I'm going to do that on all three. Again, I'm not being extremely precise I'm just cutting and then we'll do the same with this one here just like that um, now there's many many ideas that you can do with with envelopes these window envelopes but I uh, yeah I just want to make some little bags but I've used them to uh, make covers for junk journals. I've used them to make little um, notebooks. So now what I want to do is you've got the two flaps here. But the, oh, not two flaps, but the opening of the envelope. So with the very first, with the, with the, the top side, I'm just going to level up those two cut corners. And I'm just going to fold the top piece back on itself like that. That's very crooked. And that's even worse. <laughs> That'll do. So I'm just going to do that with all three. Just 
see if we get a little better on that one. It's just a little bit of fiddling. And then the last one. There we go, that's our three envelopes sort of cut into a bag shape. Now what I also want to do, I'm just going to grab some glue stick. I'll just put these out the way. And the flap that we've just turned backwards, I'm going to glue that and then I'm going to turn it in on itself. So I'm just going to grab that and oh, if it will play the game and just flip it back inside. Um, it's not cooperating. A little bit fiddly, but just take your time. Now that I don't want to happen. So that's a bit of a, oh, what we, okay, it's stuck down. So I will, I will do a little something, something to, to hide that there. I'll just bring my collage down a little further on that one. But this one here, I will just cut that down a little further. So that we don't have that. And that one will do the same. Just like that. And then when we fold it back inside, it shouldn't come poked through. Yep, that's better. And then this one will do the same. All right. Okay, so now I'm just going to basically do some collage onto my envelopes. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to put my background in place. Now I did have a container of collage but collage fodder but it's gone so I'm just going to use some Tim Holtz paper and I'm just going to sort of measure it kind of sort of to fit inside so I just want it a little bit smaller than the actual size of the envelope. Where did my pencil? Here it is. So just a little bit smaller, so I'll cut it kind of there. And then we can always trim up the top to suit in a minute. Okay, so that's going to fold down in there like that. So we'll find three pieces. That's too thin. Just excuse me while I try and choose some pages. Something that will work. Yep. Let's have a look at this one. No, that's not big enough. Oh, I've got this pretty wallpaper that could look nice inside. So again, I just want to trim it down to suit the size. So I'm going to cut it at about there. Keep all those little bits and pieces because they will come in handy for things. So that one I may have to trim down a bit further yet. So that one and then what else have we got in the wallpaper? That could look nice with the with the Tina printable, but what else have we got in just some text maybe? How will that one go? 
that could work using scraps because you won't actually see this corner bit here. So we'll cut that down and we'll see what we get. Okay, and that will go in there like that. All right. So I'm just going to trim along these edge bits. And this last one side. So. Alright, so now what I want to try and do, if we can do it successfully, is I'm going to put some glue down on these and then put them back into my envelope. And we're going to hold our breath and hope that we can get the gluey section back into the envelope. Sometimes that doesn't always work. But anyway, we'll see how we go. So I'm just covering all of that in glue. All right, and hold your breath. And that's what you don't want to happen. You don't want it to stick before you get it right down to the bottom, which it's not gonna play the game, is it? Because it's already sticky. hasn't gone all the way to the bottom but I'm just going to be happy with that and when it's dry again I'll just trim that up so I give that a bit of a burnish and I've got glue everywhere all right I'll just trim that back to where it's supposed to be like I said I'm not doing it in any you know, rhyme or reason, or or it ha it is what it is. At the end of the day, it's just a bit of bit of fun. So if things go wrong, it doesn't really matter. But see, you can't see this bottom edge anyway, so that's worked out quite well. Yeah, I'm a <laughs> I'm a bit scared. I'm going to have the same problem with these. That's a little tighter. Oh, I should have cut that. I would see it goes in quite nicely before the glue, but anyway, we'll see what we get. And how is everyone today? I hope that everyone's having a lovely week. Alright, so holding our breath. Oh. If only I could do it without it sticking to the back. <laughs> well, it's challenging, I tell you. Oh. If I try doing it this way, maybe. Just a little bit of fiddling. And again, I can just trim that up to size because again, it's down past the window, so you can't see that little edge bit. 
and we'll just trim that back up. So that's two. And we'll try with this one. Not much news to tell you guys today. It's just been a standard, ordinary week. Um, things are just not really improving with Mum at all. She's she's just not wanting to play the game to to get well this time. So I am getting a little bit well. A little concerned as you would but you know also it's sort of she's tired I guess she's tired and she just wants to have a rest now so yeah it's um a little bit difficult to watch actually I haven't I haven't been to the hospital I've got the flu so I well, I've had the flu I'm getting a little better now so I've stayed away but yeah, my sister rang me yesterday and she sort of she said it's not pleasant to watch. But anyway, we will just take each day as it comes. All right, now with this one, I just used a lot of um, just plain brown collage material, book page and some receipt and some packaging and things like that. But with these ones, I might use more patterned paper. I do have these lovely receipts that I want to use which um, these were these are reprints of original um, ephemera original receipts that I bought from um, the ladies at witchcraft do you do so I'm going to use some of those and I'm just going to use some of my Tim Holtz off cuts so this piece here is is a nice piece I might just use that down the side something like that um, This has got the old-fashioned writing, so I'm just going to do tearing, basically, and we can just um, trim down what we need to. So that is going to be about there. So I'm just going to grab a ruler and just do a bit of tearing. I'm just going to level that up with the window pocket a bit better. And the window pocket, I think it's a bit out there. It doesn't really matter. You can always just keep tearing it down until you get your right size. But that looks about good. Right, so we could put that one there. And I'm just going to tear this bit off. So again, it's really just playing with collage to create different patterns and different sort of looks. Stick that down on there. And then these little bits that overhang, we can always just trim them up when everything's dry. So that's that kind of thing. Now you can see through there, but you know, when you get to the decorating stage, you can always just cover over that sort of thing. Um, now in here, what have I got here? You know, something like that. Actually, I might use that bit. Let's trim off that little piece. Let's do something like that. And then we want a strip and a strip, and it's as simple as that. Um, I'm going to trim off that bit. And I'm just going to put that down there like, like that. Put 
put that down there. I think everybody's altered envelopes, so I know this is not a new project. It's just, I think it's a good project for when you, you know, have a lot of scrap and you just want to do something a little different. Now that ma matches with that. That's a bit too skinny. So I'm just going to cut this one down a bit. And I'm going to pop that. Oh, do I like that? Maybe I don't like that. I don't know. Let's open up this bag of bits and see what we've got in here. I don't mind that blue piece on there, but the blue piece might work better somewhere else. These are lots of little strips of bits and pieces that I've just used and then kept in a little bag. I like that. I'll just cut that down a bit. Well, even that's nice. And I do like the text, so I think I might do that. Especially with Tim Holtz, I find it really difficult to throw anything of Tim Holtz away. So I keep all these tiny little bits and pieces. And it's surprising how much they do come in handy. Alright, so that's our first one. And I'm just going to trim, just trim down, making sure I don't cut my envelope. Trim that away. And there you go, that's your first little bag with the window section like that. Alright, so I'll pop that to the side for now and we'll bring in this one. Now this one I forgot to cut that down, so I will want that to be a little... But see, look, you can't even see it now. And for this one, because it's, I want to use that bit of blue, I think I might use some of Tina's printables and just cut those down... And tear them down to suit the size. Yeah, something like that. That's pretty. Okay, so I'll just trim off this white edge. And then again, I'm just going to level that up. Now, we probably will be cutting half of her away, but, you know, that's okay. Let's level up where my window is. It's just a bit of guesswork, really. Well, that worked out well. Just trim that top bit off like that. <coughs> Pardon me, I just need a sip of coffee. All right, so I'm gonna now. Where's my bit of blue? Do I want to put? I always try to think. Do I want that like that? Yes, I think I do. Or do I want that over the top? No, I think I might hide it underneath. I'll put a bit of glue on this one and I'll put that down first about like that and then we'll put this over the top Sorry if my head's in the way. Just about like that. Um, now, what else have we got? Like that. 
that. I need a bigger piece. No. There's a big piece of that, but no. <laughs> it's all just fiddling. Oh, there's a bit of blue. That could look nice, something like that there. Or do we just continue on with the printable? That could probably work better, couldn't it? We could just do a piece of printable down along there. I like this sort of like lacy edge. Yes, we might be covering her up a little bit. Oh, look, it's the edge of her anyway. So how about we do that? And then we could come back in with a label or something to um, cover up that join. When I do collage, I always do like to, um, I don't like to have these sort of straight edges there like that. So you could always come in with a label or something like that over the top of that. I'll cut that there and I'll cut that along there. that I do do I want this piece here I like that yeah I think I'm gonna put that there like so About so, about like that. And there you go, there's our second little window pocket. And now we've got this last one here. Now I've got the wallpaper and it's got the green. So, and it's got two little windows in this one, which I think is gorgeous, two little windows. So I might come back to some more um, that colouring works nicely together. Now this one's a little different because we've got that second window. So I'm just going to kind of look and see what's going to work. There's also that piece as well. Get rid of some of these bits of rubbish. All right, so this one, I just don't know. Let me have a fiddle for a minute. I love the bow. All right, so what we might do is we might just rip this down. About like that. And we might try and put our bow in here. So I'll take a bit more off that bottom. quite pretty the big bow and this one's actually quite tricky this one I do like that there and what else have we got I've also got something like that oh that's nice so maybe we won't even use that bow because I like that so I'm just going to trim that down a little straighter And that fits really nicely in between those two windows. So we're definitely going to do that one. And I'll again lay that straight down through the middle there. Um, 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 um. I'm reaching to this side now. I've got scrap everywhere. Honestly, it's everywhere. I really like some of this. So I'm going to trim that off there. 
And I love these numbers, so I'm going to trim them there. And maybe do a bit of overlap like that down to that little window's edge. Maybe about there. Like that. Just level that up with there. Top of our envelope. Oh, that's crooked. Just like that sort of thing. Um, now we've got a strip here. It's a bit narrow, but that could look good along the bottom. And we've got this piece here. Oh, have I got something? See, I've got bits everywhere and I just can't decide. <laughs> oh, if I can get into this. Let's see, what else have we got? We've got all sorts of things in here. Oh, and that's quite nice, just something, something. Oh, that something's a bit of sewing on it. Trim away some of those longer edges. Now that could look good. It does narrow down that a bit though. Although you can even put stickers on them. That kind of thing. That's all the embellishing stage. Oh, I forget that I've got all these really cool scraps in here. That's quite nice. So I'm just going to rip that one at about there. And we'll put that one down there. And then I want, I'm going to use a strip like that for along the bottom, but I want something over here. And I've got a bit of, where's that wallpaper? Where did I put it? There it is. We could even do that just to bring it back in. Bit of wallpaper there. Yep, I like that. Again, I'll just trim that out a bit. And we can cut that bottom edge. Now, I do not want to put the glue over the window, the acetate window, because then it marks and, yeah, you can never sort of get it clean. So I'm just going to put that there like that. Burnish. It always does look a little bit higgledy piggledy, I guess, when you are doing collage, but it always does kind of work in the end. That's what I love about collage. Everything does kind of match in the end. Oh, I like that bit with the map. Oh, yes, I do like that. The colours work really well. So we've got our little window there. Isn't that cute, that little window? And now we just need to strip up the top, which again, we could use a bit of wallpaper. Or we've got, I like this piece. So I might use that piece there. And I am going to go over the top of that.
And again, we'll just trim that up around the side. And then we've just got one little piece there. This one's got quite a lot of layers. I like it. It's got a lot of texture. Now, do we want to do that or do we want to do what else have we got in here? I'm sure we've got something else that will work. That's a good size. Yeah, I like that. So we'll just do that one. Just like that. Now collect all our little bits and pieces and put them out of sight for a minute. Got bits and pieces everywhere. All right, so now, as I did with this one, I did a little bit of stenciling on there and I really like the look of that. Let's get rid of some of my glue. Okay, one, two, three, four. Now, obviously, inking, um, I will sew around the edge of my paper bag. But I just really like this idea of some stenciling. Maybe not on this one because of the lady's face. I don't want to stencil over the top of her. So you could do something like, um, hang on a minute, I've just got to find them. I've got all these labels, so you could cut out something. Well, why not? Let's do it. Um, look, I like this date. One might be a little small for the area, but you know, you can do something like that on there. Um, what else have we got? Oh, I like that. That's a nice big one. So I might cut that one. We'll still use the date because I like the date. The date could go down there. And I know this probably makes nothing to do with what what it looks like. You know, this has nothing to do with a lady and 1925, but I just like the size of this label and I love, I just like it. So we're going to use it. And I think that's the thing with junk journaling, isn't it? I don't think everything has to make sense as such. Oh, see, I like that. Yeah, so we'll just quickly decorate those. I'm just going to put a bit of ink around those labels. And hand stamping too. You could put some nice hand stamping on this, some script or a lovely floral or something like that you could put onto this one. But I think I'll just leave it with the labels. If my glue will play the game. And I'm just going to put that one down along that edge like so. And then we'll just put our little date down the bottom corner. Just about like that. All right, so say so with that one, we could put this little floral in. So that's number one. <coughs> Please excuse me. All right, now this one here, I'm going to do, 
I've got the stenciling on that one, which I really like. And I like this, but I think this one needs some colour. So I'm going to use this one to do some stenciling. And here is my, I'm going to use the same sort of splat. I like that. And I am going to put it over the top of the acetate window as well, just for um, something. It just looks, I've done it with this one here. And I just really like that look, how it's over the acetate window. So let's do the same and let's hope it all works out. And I'm using my trusty spack filler. I love this stuff. I, I think I will only ever use this now. <coughs> oh, please excuse me. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. And I'm just lightly putting it over the top. Holding my breath, actually. <laughs> and let's see what we get. Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it, I like it. Let me bring it up closer. So once that dries, that's what it's going to look like. And then you can colour that up with ink. I have to... I was trying to colour up texture paste actually the other day I had some some other sort not the spat filler um, and I used some distress ink re-inker over the top of um, this acrylic texture paste oh it didn't work it sort of I, I don't know there was too much water or it seeped a lot of water or something so yeah I want to learn a technique, te a te technique for colouring up um, the texture paste. Tim Holtz is very, very, very informative when it comes to things like that. So I will have to um, watch a few more of his videos. But there you go. A little bit of ink scattered around will br bring in a bit of depth. Um, we've got our little lady. She can fit beautifully in that one. And this one here, what have we got? We've got some autumn leaves. So that one can go in there. And then I won't even fiddle with that one until it's dry. But yeah, I've got a couple of more, or two more um, journal cards to find homes for. So there you go. Something very simple and easy. Things that we do get in our mail that probably I used to always throw them away. But now I keep all my window envelopes and they're just a lovely, a uh, lovely piece of real estate when you're doing your um, ephemera and junk journals and things like that because they can be so very unique in, um, in what you can do to, to create inserts for your journals. So yeah, if you've got window envelopes, you can... Um, yeah, definitely give these a go. They're simple, they're easy, and sky's the limit. And then once everything's dry, you can't you come back in and you can decorate them however you like. These will be. I will try and do some florals and and uh, sort of suit. I will decorate these to suit the journal cards that are, I've, I've placed inside of them. So, yeah, sky's the limit. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful Thursday. Wow, it's Thursday already. Hmm. Stay safe and well, and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.